Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2018 drama film called House of Hummingbird. At the start of the movie, a girl named Yun Hee rings a doorbell and asks her mother Sukya to open the door. She cries out loud, but no one opens the door. Suddenly, she notices 902 on the number plate above the door. After realizing it's not her apartment, she climbs to the next floor and rings the bell of her apartment, 1002. This time, the door opens and she is let inside. In the following scene, Yun Hee is at school where she is in 8th standard and attends class B. Later, she gets a message from her boyfriend Ji Won, and on reading it, she becomes happy. As she lays down her head on the desk, some girls talk behind her back, but Yun Hee completely ignores them. After school, when Yun Hee arrives home, she unlocks the closet where she discovers her sister Su Hee hiding. Meanwhile, her father Dong Jin arrives in the room searching for Su Hee as she has missed her class again and her tutor has been calling. Yun Hee, however, lies that she hasn't seen her sister. Once the father leaves the house, Yun Hee informs Su Hee that he's gone. Hearing this, Su Hee comes out of the closet and leaves the house. Young Hee has a best friend named Ji Suk, who studies at a different school. However, they are tutored in Chinese together. They have a very intricate way of chatting, in which they write in their notebooks and make fun of their teacher. That evening, Yun Hee's father scolds Su Hee for missing classes and shames her for being average at her studies. Meanwhile, Su Kya's brother arrives. He's drunk and expresses his guilt for not letting Su Kya complete her studies in order to pay for his high school fees. He believes his sister would have been independent and successful if she had gotten a chance to study. Saying this, he leaves the house. Su Kya worries about her brother and asks him not to drink. One day, Yun Hee and her siblings assist their parents in their rice cake shop. Since they have a lot of orders from a big company, they collaborate to complete the order on time. After returning home that evening, everyone counts their daily earnings. The following day at school, a teacher assigns a task to Yun Hee's class. In order to identify all of the delinquents, she asks the kids to jot down the names of two of their classmates. The teacher also instructs the kids to declare that they will never attend any karaoke sessions, as it is a waste of time. After school, Yun Hee plays with Ji Suk on a trampoline and tells her everyone is weird in her school. Later at night, Su Hee arrives home drunk. Yu Hee is horrified to see her sister intoxicated, but keeps quiet. Su Hee claims that she could face consequences for her drinking and finds it depressing that she lacks any talent. The following day, while traveling on a bus, Yun Hee experiences a sudden pain and discovers a lump behind her ear. Later, when she runs into Ji Won, she asks him if he thinks the lump is unusual. Yun Hee likes it when Ji Won comes close and touches her ear to find the lump. Intrigued, she takes Ji Won to the corner and asks him to kiss her, but he hesitates. Thus, Yun Hee kisses him first. Then they give each other loving glances. After a while, they both pleasantly stroll around the park holding hands. When Yun Hee gets back home, her brother Dae Hoon scolds her for having a love affair. When she ignores Dae Hoon, he gets angry and abuses her verbally and physically. At dinner, their father mentions a woman who lives on the seventh floor. The woman complained that their store's ingredients weren't high quality, and he is pissed about it. According to her father, he yelled at the woman and told her not to return to the store. As they eat, the father advises Daehoon to treat his friends well and buy them some burgers if necessary in order to win the election for student council and reclaim his position as class president. Yun Hee gets upset listening to her father praise her brother so much. The following day, as Yun Hee arrives at her cram school, she notices a lady smoking close to the window. She is actually Kim, their new Chinese tutor. A while later, Ji Suk shows up to the class with a mask on. When Yun Hee asks about the mask, Ji Suk remains silent. Meanwhile, Kim asks the girls to introduce themselves, and Yun Hee responds that she loves sketching. Because of Kim's outgoing nature, Yun Hee develops an immediate bond with her new teacher. After leaving the class, Ji Suk takes off her mask and reveals her wound to Yun Hee. Turns out that Ji Suk was hit by her brother. Both girls talk about their experience with their aggressive brothers. Yun Hee thinks her parents would reprimand her brother and he will cry if she kills herself and blames her brother for it. She wants to turn into a ghost so she may observe everything. However, Ji Suk doubts if their families would ever feel sorry for them, even if they die. While watching TV in the evening, Yun Hee shows her mother the lump behind her ear. Concerned, she tells Yun Hee to visit the hospital immediately. The following morning, Yun Hee visits a family doctor. He checks the lump thoroughly and suggests a biopsy. He advises Yun Hee to return with her mother and get the biopsy next week. Yun Hee, however, thinks that her mother won't be able to come to the hospital because she is preoccupied with work. That night, Yun Hee finds out that her uncle has passed away, so she goes to his funeral with her family. At the funeral, Yun Hee sends a voicemail about her biopsy to Ji Won and asks him to call back. The next day at school, Yun Hee sees Ji Won with another girl. This upsets her, and she returns home heartbroken. Since she feels lonely and has nobody to talk to, she goes to a club with Ji Suk, where she meets Yuri, another schoolgirl. Later, when they hide in the basement and smoke, Yuri says she's fond of Yu Hee and wants to be friends with her. Without hesitation, Yun Hee gives her phone number to Yuri. 
The following week, Yunhee goes back to the doctor for her scheduled biopsy. Though Suki is not physically present, she gives her verbal consent to the doctor over the phone. Following the biopsy, Yunhee is in discomfort and asleep at night. She opens the door after she hears a sudden knock and sees Suhee and her boyfriend. Being the good sister that she is, Yunhee allows the two in without informing her parents. The next day in Chinese class, Kim teaches about friendship. She asked Yunhee about the number of acquaintances she has, to which she replies, 4,007. For the second question, Kim asks how many of those individuals she is familiar with. This time, Yunhee remains silent as she struggles to recall the people she is genuinely connected to. After the class, Yunhee runs into Yuri, who gives her a rose. Yunhee doesn't know what to make of their friendship, but nonetheless agrees to meet Yuri on the weekend. When Yunhee reaches home, she sees her father assaulting her mother and sister. Fed up with her husband, Sukya hits Dongjin with a lamp, causing him to bleed. Seeing this, Su He starts crying out loud, while Yun He stares at her family in shock. The next morning, Yun He is surprised to see her parents laughing and watching TV together. Later, she goes to play with Ji Suk on the trampoline, where they talk about their parents and their fights. After a while, they go to a stationery store and steal some items. Unfortunately, the shop owner catches them and asks for their parents' names. Scared, Yun He doesn't speak a word, but Ji Suk mentions Dong Jin. The owner then calls Yunhee's father, but is surprised when Dongjin tells him to hand his daughter over to the police. Instead, the shopkeeper warns the girls and lets them go. Outside, Yunhee asks Jisuk to apologize for deceiving her, but the latter refuses and walks away. Later, Kim notices that Yunhee is sad and asks what's bothering her. Yunhee reveals her disappointment at Jisuk's betrayal and that she no longer wants to be friends with her. Hearing this, Kim comforts Yunhee and offers her some tea. As the two relate, Yun Hee reveals that she's scared of her brother because he always hits her. When Kim asks Yun Hee what she does when her brother hits her, she replies that she simply waits until it's over. Back at home, Yun Hee is severely punished for shoplifting, and she doesn't get to eat dinner. The next day at Yun Hee's request, Sukya packs some rice cakes for her and warns Yun Hee not to shoplift again. In the evening, she leaves the rice cake in a thank you note for Kim at her office. On Saturday, Yun Hee and Yuri spend some time having fun at karaoke. As they are on their way back home, Yunhee finds Jiwon waiting for her. Since Jiwon is there to apologize, Yunhee patches things up with him and takes him to her house where they lie on the bed and talk for hours. After a few days, Yunhee gets her biopsy results and the doctor recommends she go to a bigger hospital for a better diagnosis. She explains it to her parents later that night. The next day, Yunhee's father takes her to another hospital where the doctor reveals that Yunhee has a lump on her salivary gland and that she needs to be operated on soon. However, there's a rare possibility that she may suffer from complete facial paralysis. While they wait in the hallway, Yunhee's father unexpectedly breaks down and sobs, revealing that he truly cares for his daughter. Later at dinner, the parents assure Yunhee that everything's going to be fine. Although Yunhee is scared about the surgery, she is very happy to receive so much attention from her parents. The following day in Chinese class, Kim thanks Yunhee for the rice cake. Meanwhile, Ji Suk arrives and stays quiet. In order to break the awkward silence, Kim sings a beautiful song. After the class, Yun Hee tells Ji Suk about her surgery, and Ji Suk apologizes for the betrayal. With this, the two girls patch things up. In the next scene, Yun Hee records herself congratulating Ji Won on their 120th day anniversary. The following day, Yun Hee meets Ji Won and expresses her fear about the surgery, and the latter consoles her. As they leave, Ji Won's mother arrives and takes him with her. After his affluent mother learns about Yun Hee's identity and lower social class, Ji Won is forced to end their relationship. Saddened by this, Yun Hee goes to see Kim. Yun Hee asks Kim if she has ever hated herself. Kim advises Yun Hee that it takes time to love yourself. Furthermore, she suggests that Yun Hee look at her fingers and move them slowly in order to relax herself when she is tired and sad. Despite everything, Kim exhorts Yun Hee to maintain her composure and keep going. Kim's words of wisdom profoundly affect Yun Hee, and she develops a good bond with her teacher. The next day, Yun Hee packs her bags for the hospital, takes a book from her shelf, and gifts it to Kim. Before leaving, she hugs Kim tight and says that she really likes her. Next, we are taken to the hospital where Yun Hee's operation has been a success. Even at a time like this, her busy parents leave her alone and mention that they'll visit her next week. Later, Yuri visits Yun Hee at the hospital and gives her a pair of earrings. When Yun Hee says she broke up with Ji Won, Yuri expresses her feelings for Yun Hee. She reveals that she likes Yun Hee more than her friends and family. Overwhelmed with the love, Yun Hee kisses Yuri on her cheek, and the latter kisses her back. The other patients murmur as they find the girls very cute. Yun Hee has a good time at the hospital. She likes the care she's been receiving there. One evening, while she is asleep, Kim arrives to visit her. 
Yun-hee gets very excited to see Kim. They stay on a bench in the hallway and talk. Yun-hee says that she is more comfortable at the hospital than at home. A few days later, Yun-hee is discharged from the hospital and everyone wishes her the best. Since no one comes to receive her, she goes home by herself. When she reaches home, she finds no one there and becomes sad. The next day when she goes to her Chinese class, she finds that Kim has quit the job but will be back on Sunday at 2 to pick up her things. Devastated by the news, Yun-hee goes back home. On Sunday, Yun-hee returns to her cram school, but the manager says Kim already came and left at 11. The manager even says Kim is cold and disappears every now and then. This enrages Yun-hee and she yells at the manager. Later, the manager calls Yun-hee's parents and complains about her, and she is expelled from the cram school. As a result, Yun-hee's parents blow up at her and start yelling derogatory words. Fed up with everything, Yun-hee argues back and starts screaming at her parents. When Dae-hoon pushes her, she loses her temper and pushes him back. She also insults him for his poor grades despite having a personal tutor. Enraged, Dae-hoon strikes Yun-hee so hard that it ruptures her eardrum. Seeing this, Dong Jin is startled and he yells at Dae-hoon and disgraces him. In the next scene, when Yun-hee visits the doctor, he suggests she file a police complaint and that he is ready to help her with the medical evidence. However, Yun-hee declines the offer. At the start of the new semester, Yun-hee sees Yuri and approaches her, but the latter surprisingly rejects her. One day at school, Yun-hee sees the news that Songsi Bridge has collapsed and there are numerous casualties. Since Yun-hee's sister Suhi takes the same route to school and her bus was involved in the accident, she becomes frightened. Immediately, she runs to the school's phone and calls her father to find out about her sister. In the following scene, we see that Suhi has returned home safely as she was late for the bus and missed it. The parents are glad that their daughter is safe. Just then, Dae-hoon breaks down in tears of relief, revealing that he cares for his siblings despite his abuse. The following day, Ji-won tries to talk and apologize to Yun-hee, but she ignores him and says she never liked him. After reaching home, Yun-hee receives a package from Kim containing a letter and a sketchbook. In order to thank Kim, Yun-hee writes a thank you note mentioning that one day when she will become a cartoonist, she will make a character after Kim with short hair, glasses, and a quirky personality. She believes Kim's character will inspire people when they feel low and devastated. The next day, Yun-hee asks her mother to prepare rice cakes and goes to Kim's residence to give her a return gift. However, Yun-hee meets Kim's mother and discovers that Kim died in the bridge collapse the day before Yun-hee received the package. The news shatters Yun-hee, and she rushes home where she asks her mother about her uncle. Sukya mentions that she still misses her brother and still can't comprehend that he is no longer around. In the next scene, Yun-hee, Su-hee, and her boyfriend drive to the collapsed bridge site, where she is struck with emotions, loss, and anguish. The following morning before Yun-hee leaves for school, the family enjoys breakfast together, with equal attention being given to each sibling. Yun-hee reads the last letter Kim wrote to her, in which she apologizes for leaving and affirms that there would always be good experiences after bad ones end. Despite being alone in the schoolyard, Yun-hee seems composed and mature, remembering Kim and her wise words.